I think it was, let me it. put that up for you guys. Um, Uther, Feldstad, Zeratul, Turiel, and Jaina for A7. And Myrdin, Vala, Arthas, Nazebo, and Rhaegar for Arthas. Yep, and the bands were Brightwing and Stitches. Very familiar. Surprisingly, yeah, we don't see uh, Sergeant Hammer, who we've been seeing a lot. Yep, but um, on the other hand, we got to see Rhaegar and Jaina. Which is a bit of a surprise. We'll have to see how the, how this plays out. I think Ace Heaven will need to play a little bit more cautiously early on. And Arthas is currently leading 2-0. So this could be this could be a quick semi-final. Let's find out. Could be this could be the last game before we even start. So, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> excuse me, I just ate something and my tongue is burning. <laughs> Spawning on the left-hand side of the Black Arts Bay, playing in the Blue Trunks, it is Ace Heaven. And playing on the Faustad, it is Sheep. Starzerg is playing the Tyriel. Shashka, uh, Saska, Sashka, sorry, is playing the Zeratul. Noodles is on the Ufa, and A Pony is on the Jaina. And on the right-hand side, we have the red team. It's Team Arthas, uh, Russian team. We have Stark on Arthas, <laughs> CU on Myrden, Jepschke on uh, uh, Bala, and they're doing something <laughs> weird. Rega on uh, Kunichan, and Andy Landy playing the Zebo. This could okay, be a bad this... move. Oh, the jeez, they're is trapped. Falstad isn't there. It's four versus five. Falstad's still not there. Noodles dropping low is able to heal and back up to his towers, but he will go down to Valor. He is the first blood. Falstad still doing major damage in the background. Zeratul blinks in, gets two kills. Yeah, Lurgan nice double kill. Rhaegar gets, gets killed and picked off as well. That's one for three. And it certainly looked like a um, like a nice setup, but what a trap um, coming out of made. A7. <laughs> that was, it was an interesting idea, running a proxy the wave. Pure coincidence, pure luck, that it just so happened that Ace Heaven decided to go for bot. Yep. <laughs> there's no... you can't make that up. I am, there's no way you could predict that. And in this case, it was their undoing. That was... Devastating. Oh, and uh, that's for sure. <laughs> that's the first turn in, but no, Riga has something to say about that. Let's have a look at um, the objectives. Oh, all coins going to A7. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. And Riga is in trouble. There comes the stun. And the final blow coming out of Sashka. Can he? Yep, he can. Yep, Seb yes, he standing can. Standing at the back here doing some harassment, and we were worried about having an easy 3 0. This Doesn't game look like instantly it. going over to Ace Heaven, they are, I'd like to say they're far ahead, but they're actually behind in XP. It's really weird right now, but they have the map objective some solid control. And oh, that's the first barrage coming in. They didn't do any damage on the uh, on the gates yet, so it's not going to quite take out that fort. Still, I think it's a solid opening, uh, at least morale-wise, for Ace Heaven. Yep, they, <laughs> their morale must be very high. And they have a slight XP lead. In the, uh, now that they've managed to get their back to their lanes again and get going. Able to take down the gate, but the cannon shots that were already aimed at the gate, etc. still do go off. And the fountain did go down. So they're still not going to be able to take down this fort, but it is quite low already. They are, however, going to fight over this watchtower. Which is kind of interesting to see this late game watchtower fight. Oh, Stark is in trouble. See you. Also getting ganked up upon. Nice body blocking. Starzerk and Zashka. Wow. Oh, Shepka. Poison. That'll do it. Yep. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Two more free coins. Sashka picks those up quite easily. And I gotta say, man, a really, really uh, good opening here for A7. Yeah. Definitely don't want to go down 3-0. First turn in. Most, almost all the coins on the entire map. Going over to Ace Heaven, and they're more than likely gonna get this four. Stars are gonna be able to get out of here, but nice setup there from. Uh, oh, down goes Nazibo again. Uh, nice setup there from Arthas to try and catch out uh, Tyrio as he teleported, but not enough. Oh, not enough. Not quite enough yet. So we'll have a little bit of a return here to these to these lanes. Of course, um, Ace Heaven, they want to keep up their map objective game. They're doing good so far, and just gathering a couple more coins here. 
Uh, you just said it, I mean, all of the map mechanic scores so far going towards Ace Heaven. And they're gathering up a couple more coins. We'll get a turn in here pretty soon. Yep, they will, they will turn in as quick as they can. Bruiser Camp for uh, Arthas going over. Uh, sorry, Bruiser Camp taken by Arthas. So that's just going to give a bit of camp pressure to this top plane so that they get at least some advantage on the map. They're also yep. taking their own mercenaries. Yep. Giant Camp is taken bot lane, as you said. And the Bruisers will wail away here in the top wall. Um, no one's uh, rotating up there just yet. Sazerg is now. But well, they also need to watch out. Arthas just recaptured that watchtower. And oh, just ignoring the Bruisers for now. Kind of ignoring a little bit of lane XP, I gotta say. This is uh, one of their downsides to the way they're yeah, playing this. Ignoring the bot lane is a risky move, but with this many people here in the mid lane, they are likely to get control of this chest and probably get that mid fort as well if they try to engage it. It's going to be four versus five again. And this is not a fight that Arthur's want to take, and the group does not banned. Uh, they can't really get an engagement angle, so all coins will go to A7. But I think the Zero oh, got wow. all of the coins bought. In bot. All but, all but Almost. a couple, actually. Oh. Sheep headed down, and he's going to take control of this chest, and as the rest of the team, they will grab what's left of the coins. Yeah, really good solid control with the map objectives. Maybe they can even steal some more if they can get a kill and jump on Arthas and the Zebo. Right now, they have they a might run into a fight here at the Bruiser Camp. Possibly, they're looking for the opening. Noodles is very close to them here. There's oh, the slow Noodles! Death. The well, Noodles heals himself. He dropped protective shield. He throws a heal back at his teammates, but it's not enough. And I like the decision from Sashka not to go in that fight. 14 coins lost would have been disastrous. Yeah, definitely. It's a great decision. And now Shashka is just going to use this opportunity to turn in the coins he has to make sure that he can join in in those fights when he needs to. There was also an outnumbering issue of yeah. the fact that most of the team was down there and Jaina and Tyrael were nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I do really need Tyrael in that fight. Uh, so no real surprises. Um, Jaina did take Summon Water Elemental, but uh, yep. I think that's pretty much standard for her. Yeah, it, it got buffed recently. The, just the impact damage on it is so nice now. She is very bursty. These towers are under pretty heavy pressure right now. Uh, almost, yeah, completely out of ammo and almost going down, but they can save him for now. I don't think we have any mules available, so that's, they're not going to get yep. healed up. <laughs> the option for mule would be on Nazibo, and he chose to take Gibbon, a very effective ability. But, yeah, <laughs> that's what he went for. Ancestral healing coming out of Rhaegar. Um, yep, not, not that big of a surprise. Ooh, this is a, this is a risky move. Arthas going to be taking the golem, but they can see the members of uh, of Ace Heaven are in the spot lane, killing the wall, and they will likely go for the fort as well. So it's going to be a fort traded for a golem, unless oh, no, Sashka. But Sashka got engaged upon there, and he is just going to choose his own life <coughs> over attempting to, to steal the golem. Yep, this is going to be fort down, unless, no, I think, yeah, this will definitely be a fort. But Felsit also bribing these sea giants. I like this quite a bit. It's going to put a lot of pressure on this bot lane. Um, usually, if you can, you try. You want to try to uh, get some pressure on the mid lane, because that's the lane where um, the barrage actually hits first. But still, this helps out quite a bit as well. And if they actually get rid of these towers, but I think they might need to, might need to make a return here. The boss is on its way. Yeah, they're and gonna top be, lane they're is gonna under pressure. Start defending with the boss. Those giants, as nice as they are, they will target minions first, which will slow down any kind of push they would be getting from this. And there we go. We are seeing Arthas realizing that they could be in some danger as well. They're also going to back out to make sure that they stay safe in this fight. And they're only a level behind. It's still not too bad for them. Yep. And fort wise, it's uh, pretty much even. I mean, one more fort uh, for A7. It's it's all right. It's it's still winnable at this point for Arthas. Yeah, they're not far behind at all. And there we go. We may see another fight in mid lane. I believe chess this morning soon, if I am not mistaken. They so. should be. They should be coming up. And the Zebo's already getting positioned down there. Um, Stark thinking about turning in, but not really, not really quite as safe right now. They have vision now, and they're yep, in the chest. The chest. And it looks like the. They were thinking about trying to steal the Bruiser Camp instead of the chest, but chests are too important. They're going to take this uh, middle lane chest and then begin making their way down. 
to either interrupt the turn in or get that bottom lane chest, but turn in has already happened for Arthas here. And now Starzerg is a bit out of position. He does still have his Q and is able to escape. Ravenous Spirit has come up and is doing huge damage onto Sheep, and Sheep does go down. Shashka is able to escape, though. And we also did see Tyrael fight the dust as well. Everyone really good fight for Arthas. Yeah. yeah. Brought it back. They're actually ahead in XP now. Only a tiny, tiny bit, but they've really brought it back. Yep. Pretty amazing fight. Uh, and I gotta say, I mean, Bala really hit hit her home, you know, hit home run when, when she got that heroic out. Yep, did a fantastic job. And now both teams are going to be taking their bruises while in the bot lane. The barrage is happening, and Rhaegar slash Arthas are here to continue pushing this lane, but not going to stay for too long. Once again, we see players and teams playing it safe, not overstaying their welcome, not getting caught out. Yeah, it's going to be a next team fight here at the turn in. Sashka's already in position. Rega coming in from the back, but they're trying to retreat out of this. Noodles moving back in there. There's the Hinterland, but with a nice incest to heal and gets back up. Uther is taken out, and Stars are caught in the middle there. Oh, Kurushan is right on top of him. Can he take him out? Oh, stars are actually so low. Zero tool goes down, losing a lot of coins. Arthas, they're really making their all for this. Stark yeah, still in the hunt. A bad starting maneuver that they did, that they just got caught out so hard. They're really making up for it in this mid to late game. Well, it's still mid, early to mid game. Doing such a good job. They're going to be turning in now so they can do even more damage. Yeah, and I like the splitting up. They're going to take up even more map objectives. Um, they haven't actually used up all of their barrages yet. They're still on low barrage count, which means they don't need quite as many coins to uh, get an even greater experience lead. So this is going to help out immensely. Quite immensely. Yep. I would agree. We're currently seeing... Um, Arf is going to be taking their easy camp. Easy camp for Ace Heaven has already gone over to them. Bottom hard camp is still available, but neither team looking like they want to move into it yet. Like we said, both teams playing it safe. They do not want to be get uh, to get caught out here. And here we go. Ace Heaven moving back into the turning area, looking to give away the free coins they have, or at least try and stop Arthas from turning in theirs. But Arthas more focused right now on stealing this bot camp, and Ace Heaven may have realized this. They may be looking for an engagement here. Shashka moving in. He may try and steal this. Yeah, he definitely has a chance for it. And there's the Void Prism. There's a gap in Can that circle. Oh! He's denying it. There we go. It goes over. There is the Divine Storm by Noodle. The full fight is going. That, uh, that battle oh, is incredible. Sempia dodges the Hinterland Blast. And, well, yeah, down goes everyone. Wow, what a fight. What a team fight. Arf is really making the turnaround happen. And Starzerg is the only one left alive here for A7. Can he get away? Uh, he yeah, might be. Sure. Nope, There's not with the slow, There's not with the root. Ah. Sepia, get rid of the vault. Nope, Sepia almost ran back into that. That was a bit risky. But they're now going to continue pushing up here. And with those respawn timers, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to get a keep here. Yeah, 10 seconds left on Felset. 10 for Zeratul. And I think with Zeratul back in the game, he still has a countdown on his heroic. So it's going to be. Uh, it's going to take a while. I don't think they're going to. They're gonna risk it here. Playing it safe once again. Everyone's back up. They got what they came for. They got the keep. They're gonna back up. They're gonna go for turning. And after this, they will likely attempt to grab this boss. In fact, they just pinged it. <laughs> so, so, that is... But look how they turned around the map mechanics. Initially, didn't get, for, didn't get the first two rounds of barrages, and now it's just one after another. Yeah, they got a load in a row, and now it is working so well for them. Zeratul needs to get his ult up. He has 12 seconds left for it to come up, but we're not seeing Arthas go for the ult yet. We're actually going to see Ace Heaven go for the god, I'm sorry, not the ult, to try and steal it away. Arthas are reacting to this, but they are far too slow, really, to get in here. They need to get in this quickly. It's about a third health. They need to get in there, or at least get the vision so that they can try and interrupt. They now see it's happening. They need to get in there as possible, but no! Void Prism comes out from Zeratul, doing the opposite of a steal. A secure coming in from Zeratul there, but the fight is looks like it's still going to go in favor of Arthur. Sepia dodges the late, the Hinterland Blast. The wow, ancestral that's going to be a team kill again. Yeah, this is the healing alive, and everyone goes down, except for Starzerg, 
Who? No, he's gonna die. Oh, he might go down as well. Yep. Oh my god, that thing chased him so far. Yeah, the range was incredible there. Yeah, and that's, that's so another team 20. kill. That's pre 20, that range. Wow. And yeah, that's GG, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna see Arthas push in here to try and just dive the core, and I think they can do it. 11, 10 seconds left on Jada. They have the board here, they have the damage, and Muradin has that 400% damage on his Q. You will see him just keep throwing that out. And yeah, Jada's up. Zeratul will be up in five. I don't think Jada can save this on her own. Zeratul won't be. Zeratul is now up. He does not have Void Prism anymore. And that's it. That's GG. Arthas are the first team who will be qualifying for the HBL Season 2 in the second qualifier. Oh yeah. Wow. What a game. It looked so strong. The opening was so amazing for Ace Heaven. And then, wow. Out came, out came Arthas. And just won every single team fight from the mid game on.